When Women in Media started back in 2005, I was thrilled by what they were doing. It uh, was a breath of fresh air, I thought, to bring together women from the communications industry, public relations, etc., with working journalists, with editors and various others in a real collaboration that enabled everyone to understand their career they'd chosen. If I was to be completely honest with you, I wish Women in Media was around when I was starting out. The idea of actually having representation in media, especially with ladies with cameras. You don't see that many of them still in television. Um, and this is, I guess, why I'm here, to sort of show that you can do it and it is possible. And I suppose the more of us that gain that connection and integration and sort of support each other along the way, the more we realise it is possible and you can be a lady with a camera in media. Women in Media for me was absolutely integral to have a start to jump into the industry, to meet people that were passionate and good at their jobs, to get an outline of what working in this industry would be like and what the challenges would be like, but also to just start that roadmap on how to figure out, you know, this, this career in this really hard industry. It was the start with very practical outcomes for me in getting my first internship and then getting my first job. Um, it was really, really important. Not only did we start going to every Women in Media event and I would come along, we would volunteer, we wanted to get involved and, and help out. And it was entirely, A, fantastic speakers, great subjects, but for me it was normalising this to my students. This is journalism, this is normal help each other, get to know each other, not for what you can get, but for what you can give, for what you can learn. Women in Media has been essential for that and for the young women coming through, obviously in particular, and for the young men to see what that can be. There are many reasons why individuals should become a part of WIM and join in on WIM events. You get to meet a large range of working professionals from not only media backgrounds but also comms and PR and they've all got that same passion and willingness to support you and it's just great to be a part of that. I think the big benefits of an organisation like Women in Media they kind of come from the events, they come from the conferences, they come when you get to meet all these incredible people in front of you. You know, you can just go over and introduce yourself, you say hello. And the big thing for me is I leave feeling re-inspired. It gives me that drive and that kick again. And you get that from doing stories, of course, but by being with people in your industry as well, it, yeah, you see that passion come through and you're like, yeah, that's why I do this. I think an organisation like Women in Media is incredibly important. You know, women need to be there to support each other. It's the kind of professional network that really helps you just feel connected. And I think what's really important in these times is that this kind of network is really tries to do the most it can to make our media more diverse. I see this as a real urgent problem in the Australian media scene. We don't reflect Australia currently as it is. And I think women understand, you know, we've always been a minority in this industry. So I think there, we should take this issue and really lead on it and go out of our way to mentor young journalists. I think there's an enormous amount of opportunity available and I guess when we change our view to a more positive outlook, um, we can work together to create some positive change for women in media. This industry, it can be tough, it can also be a lot of fun, but just do it for you. I think any steps you can take to sort of meet new people and learn new things is really, really crucial. It's what you need to kind of stand out, especially if you're just coming out of uni or you're just starting off in your career, you really need those connections. Gain confidence from talking to other people, from seeing other people in the parts of their journey that they are on and being able to gather skills and knowledge from them in an informal setting. It's really useful.